Hello Chookies, welcome to the cave. Number 10 is Loa Loa Worm. You're walking through a humid forest in Central Africa, and a deer fly is buzzing too close for comfort. It bites, quick and forgettable, but leaves behind a passenger. Hello! Weeks later, you notice an itch under your skin, then a subtle wriggle like something alive shifting beneath the surface. The Loa Loa Worm has been crawling through your tissues, slowly, patiently, for years, and one day, while you're sitting in a nice restaurant with the girl you like, <laughs> it drifts into your eye, sliding across the white like a thread come to life. She screams and runs away, and you're happy because for the first time, you're not the most problematic guy on the table. It's your new friend, Loa Loa. But it slips away again, vanishing beneath the skin, waiting for its next appearance, or might curl up in the whites of your eyes and stay there. If you're really unlucky, the anti-parasitic treatment you take reacts severely with your brain leaving you confused, dizzy, and feverish. <clears throat> so, while your eyes are healthy and you don't see any threads in your eyes, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Yay! On number 9, we have Kandiru Fish. Imagine you're cooling off in the Amazon, the water is calm and the heat somewhat bearable. Then, out of nowhere, something the size of a toothpick darts towards you. The Kandiru Fish, tiny, Almost invisible, slips straight up the urethra before you even realize what's happened. Once inside, it flares sharp spines, locking itself in place like a barbed hook. The pain is instant and blinding, described as one of the worst known to man. And the nightmare is that there's no swimming it back out. The only escape is surgery, which also makes for a harrowing experience. On number eight, we have tapeworms. Imagine you're sitting at a nice diner about to devour your nice steak completely unaware of the ingredients that went into it. So you take a bite, and there go the tapeworm eggs in your stomach, and then to your intestines. They will continue to live in your intestines and can grow over 30 feet long, stealing every nutrient you eat. This is why back in Victorian era, they became part of the diet, so the ideal weight could either be achieved or maintained. On the negative side, you are constantly bloated and hungry, and sometimes the sections of the worm break off and crawl out through your mouth butt or nose while you're still alive. <coughs> Number seven is Echinococcus tapeworm. Imagine you're clearing out an old dog kennel on a farm. Dust, dung, and the kind of veg that's been fed to dogs as scraps. You wipe your hands on your shirt, grab a piece of unwashed salad, and eat it without thinking. Months, even years later, a pressure builds deep in your belly. A slow, silent lump has been growing inside your liver or lung fed by a parasite you never saw. These are hydated cysts, fluid-filled balloons that can swell to the size of a basketball, pressing on organs and stealing space and function. When surgeons open them, the cavities often hold clear fluid and thousands of tiny capsules hiding the parasite's baby forms, which is why accidental rupture is so dangerous and can cause a major infection and maybe death. On number six, we have guinea worm. This nightmare enters your body when you drink dirty water. Once ingested, the larvae penetrate the intestinal wall and migrate through the body, usually to the lower limbs. They grow silently for a year to mature into adult worms, and then some of them burn their way out through your skin like a fiery string of agony to make more babies. Victims say it feels like being set on fire from the inside, and the only way to get it out is to slowly wind it around a stick, inch by inch, for weeks. On number five, we have pork worm. You get this parasite from undercooked pork or wild game. The larvae hatch in your intestines where they don't stay put. No, they drill through your intestinal walls, chewing their way into your bloodstream like living razor blades until they find your muscles. Picture this, your biceps, your calves, even the muscles that move your eyes, riddled with tiny worms that curl up inside like coiled springs of flesh. The pain is anything but subtle. Your muscles swell. They burn, they cramp like they're tearing from the inside out. Each twitch could be another worm twisting in its little cyst. And if you're really unlucky, they don't stop at your muscles. They march straight for the heart, burrowing into the muscle fibers until every beat feels like barbed wire tearing through you. Sometimes they even reach the brain. Imagine worms nesting in the folds of your mind, sparking fevers, seizures, delirium, like your skull itself is crawling. On number four, we have hookworms. Hookworm larvae live in soil, waiting for bare feet to fall in their territory. They pierce through your skin and create raised, red lines or tracks on the skin as they burrow. 
once in your bloodstream, they travel to the lungs, are coughed up and swallowed again, then they finally reach the small intestine. Here, they mature into adult worms that feed on your blood every single day, leaving you weak, pale, and dizzy. In bad cases, people have thousands of them inside, all feasting on you at once. Good news is, you can recover easily with medication. On number three, we have scabies. One night, you crash at a friend's place and share their bed. By morning, you've taken home a souvenir you can't see. A scabies mite, which is smaller than a grain of salt, has moved onto your skin. Hi. At first, nothing feels wrong, but within days, the itching starts, sharpest when the lights go out. That's when the mites get busy, burrowing tunnels in your flesh to lay their eggs. They hide in the folds of your body, between fingers, in your armpits, and yes, around your butt. In heavy infestations, thousands swarm at once. The only way out is setting your house on fire and douse yourself in a vat of acid. You might think I'm kidding, but I'm not. You're actually required to wash all your bedding and clothing and let them toast in sunlight. Then, you have to follow a ritual of covering your entire body in an anti-scabies lotion before going to sleep for three consecutive nights. But if the infection is old and strong, you might have to take oral medication as well and continue the nightly routine followed by doing extra laundry every single day for a week or more. On number two, we have maggots. So you're recovering, but you don't take very good care of your wounds or your environment. One day a housefly lands on the wound and lays eggs. Sometime later, the larvae hatch and start chewing through flesh. Victims report hearing a faint squirming sound under their skin as the maggots feed. Doctors sometimes use them on purpose to clean dead tissue, but when it happens naturally, the larvae don't stop. They can eat into healthy muscle. In rare severe cases, there can be brain infection, blindness, or even death. On number one, we have botfly larvae. The human botfly uses mosquitoes to deliver its eggs onto your skin. When the mosquito bites, the eggs slide in. You can feel them wiggling around, feeding on your tissues. Later, they poke a breathing hole through your skin so they don't suffocate. From the outside, it looks like an ulcer and might throw off the doctor's diagnostic skills, huh. but it's actually their hiding spot. People who know what it is sometimes put Vaseline on the hole to suffocate the larva, but the only way to really get rid of them is surgical extraction. Well, that's all for today. Do comment your favorite or the worst horror from the list, and do not forget to subscribe if you do not wish the wrath of parasites upon you.